is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we are in our final review of WWE Elite Series 102. We are covering Commissioner Foley and Sami Zayn here today from WWE Elite Series 102. Excited to get into these because we have some unique things going on with them. I do have my gripes about both, which we're obviously going to dive into because what would be an MDT review if I didn't take these figures and completely dissect them on a probable, it's not that deep, bro, basis? Nonetheless, regardless, we have Commissioner Foley. Foley here, a figure a lot of people have been waiting on for a while now. We do have an updated quote-unquote Sami Zayn, which we'll also get into. Not a big fan of this head sculpt right off the cuff, and this one has its issues too, but we're gonna, again, we're gonna get into all of those different things, man, but if you guys would like to grab these figures, you can do so over at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Always appreciate you guys using the code. You guys are the real MVPs, but you guys know standard packaging. You have them bookshelf. You have them library bookshelf style with the Mick Foley and Sami Zayn there. On the back, you get images of both talent. You also have the rest of the figures in the wave. Really great wave overall. Then you have their names on the side, the series, the true effects, all the stuff going on, man. Feels like yesterday we just got this packaging. Now we're just cranking them out. But nonetheless, man, let's go ahead and crack these guys out of their packaging. Find out what the hell they're all about. Put them on the rotating base, which is finally fixed. Just, God, what a day it is. All right, let's shut the hell up and prop them out. So here is Sami Zayn and Mick Foley out of the packaging. I'm, I'm enjoying these figures, you know. I'm not a big fan of certain things, which we're obviously going to get into, but I wanted to check them out on the rotating base, see what they're about before we dive into the details further. But you guys know how these reviews work. We're going to dive into Sami Zayn's accessories and Sami Zayn, and then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at Mick Foley's accessories and Mick Foley, get into some comparisons, see how these guys compare to the rest of their action figures, where these stand in your figure collections, and just shut the hell up and do so. All right, guys, so we have a pretty cool accessory here, maybe Maybe one of the most outlandish and outside-the-box accessories we've ever seen from Mattel here. So what we have here, let's go ahead and get all the other stuff. I mean, let's, let's knock these out, I guess, real quick. You have the Sami Zayn hat. This did come with his last figure. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same sculpt as I fumble it here. Number Never fumbled in my football career. Get that right. Never happened. Played football from the time I was in fifth grade until the end of my college football career. Never fumbled one time. Nonetheless, same hat accessory. You get fisted hands with white tape and the white pegs, which is amazing. So, you know, you gotta deal with that skin tone shot. God dang it! And then we have Mike holding hands. Universal. Beautiful. White pegs and all the good stuff. Now we can get into this mousetrap accessory. Now, what's weird about it is it's not an official mousetrap, obviously. Like, you're asking for all kind of, of issues there if you're Mattel. You release an actual operating mousetrap to children, you're gonna have an issue. So the way they design this is very weird because there's supposed to be, like, a little piece here that you sit the food on, and then you pull this back, like this would be loose, and you would lock this here, and then this piece with the food on it holds this trigger down, and then when the weight knocks it off, it releases this, and this would, the spring would be right here, and it would go, it would lift this, and this would go, bah! It would go, bam! It would go boom! It would smash the hell out of the mouse. So, yeah, I mean, this is, like, not loose, but it's, like, it's it's kind of weird because it feels like it's spring-loaded, but it's not. But it's pretty tight here, and this is also... So, I guess it's just pretty much for photography for the most part. But this is a really cool moment to commemorate his match with Johnny Knoxville. And I, I love that match. I thought it was very, very entertaining. And, you know, you could... I mean, you could play around with this. Maybe somebody will make it into a, an actual mousetrap, but it's massive. I mean, if you put a figure on here, here's the full-fledged Sami Zayn. And you guys can see it's massive, so it fits on the whole thing. And yeah, I'm sure you could use this in a pig fed. It's just, it's not fully operational. And how, why would they do that? You're asking for lawsuits and all kinds of crazy stuff. So, I don't know. Funny nonetheless. Alright, man, so getting into Sami Zayn, I mean, we have talked about it here a little bit on the channel. I'm not a big fan of this head sculpt. I like that they went out of the box and went a little creative with it, but I don't know, it's a little wacky for me. Like, I guess you're, this is like you're getting smashed by a mousetrap head sculpt, I guess, is what you're going for here. The sculpt is nice and the coloration's nice. I just think at certain angles, he just looks a bit weird, I guess, but I, I don't know. It's just my personal opinion. You guys can let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Sami Zayn Torso, probably one of the only guys this works for. I mean, I honestly would probably prefer the Matt Hardy torso for Sami Zayn, because this is still too, like, small. But that's a whole other argument for a whole other day. Also, chest hair or stubble would be nice to see, but he's got double-jointed arms, white tape, white belt. You have the... I mean, this is pretty much a repaint with a new head sculpt. Good God, what's up with the exposure? Let's lower this down just a hair here. There you go, a little bit better. 
better. You got Sami Zayn Forever for the Jackass Forever font right there in the black pants. You can easily remove this and then uh, remove this, these graphics off these pants and you would easily have like an updated Sami Zayn. But this is basically an updated Sami Zayn. And then we have the longer boots here, which I don't, I've talked about this on the channel. I don't like that they use the Sergeant Slaughter legs for this figure specifically because then it makes him like, it gives him taller boot, a taller boot mold than he had previously on his Elite 40 figure on his Elite 63. And I don't think it's accurate, but who, again, who am I? Now, as far as your Sami Zayn figure, I don't want to go over the articulation. Basically, you know, regular Sami Zayn articulation that you're getting here out of this guy. Nothing wacky. But as far as figure comparisons are concerned, you do have the Elite 63 Sami Zayn. Now, I have had the Elite 91. I've had it on multiple occasions, and every time I get it, I turn it into a custom, or I take the arms off, or I take the something uh, from the figure. So this is actually the Elite 91 head sculpt on this Elite 63 fix-up that I made. And so I, I, I'm going to probably track down more. I have a decent Sami Zayn collection. I have every single one of his figures. I just keep breaking them down most of the time. So here's what I'm talking about with the boots. You guys can see how much taller these boots are compared. I mean, I guess it's not the biggest deal. It's just something that kind of annoys me personally because I'm he's wearing the same boots. You know what I'm saying? He's wearing the same boots he wore back then. They're not any taller. It's just a thing. You know, yeah, it doesn't look bad. It's just, it's a personal preference to keep things uniform across the board. But here's your tag team champions. You guys have the Elite 63 Zane. You have the Elite 102 Zane. And then you have the Elite 101 KO here. And this is your current tag team champions. Love these guys. So, I mean, these work for updated KO and Sami Zayn. And then if you guys wanted to see what he looks like with both tag titles, then you can do this as well. Very easy stuff here. I know we're still going to get, like, Sami Zayn probably from, like, War Games or something like that in the red. I guarantee you we get a... I mean, you have to. You have to get Bloodline Sami Zayn down the line because it was such a huge storyline for the year. And, the, like, one of the most well-developed stories in WWE history, at least in recent memory. So if you guys wanted to see what the Bloodline looks like up next to this Sami Zayn figure so you guys can figure out your displays and stuff like that. Here you have an, a custom, like, promo Roman up next to the Top Talents and SummerSlam Uso figures. We also have their Ultimates coming and stuff, but all these look good next to each other, man. I'm, I'm digging it. Can't wait to fully complete our Bloodline, but Bloodline figures, some of my favorites to collect for sure, and this Sami Zayn will work for your Bloodline if you want to, you know, throw a shirt on there, throw one of the Bloodline shirts on there. I guess you could pass it, maybe switch the head skull, but I'm just not very big on the crazy head skull. And for one last comparison, we do have the Elite 101 Johnny Knoxville up next to the Elite 102 Sami Zayn, so if you guys wanted to see what these guys look like, I think they work well together. I love this 101 Johnny. I think that's a great figure, bro. I think at the end of the year, Johnny Knoxville may shock some people where he comes in at the top figures of the year, but I don't remember how I ranked Elite 101. May have to go back and look, but that was a, that was a fire set. And then for Mick Foley's accessories, you got some interesting stuff going on here, man. Let's start off first with the flannel. Very good looking flannel. This guy actually looks like something I would wear. I mean, I wouldn't cut the sleeves off because, you know, I'm not Cactus Jack or Brock Lesnar, so I'm not going to do that. But I would wear this if I had the long sleeve. I wear, I wear flannel shirts all the time, especially like to church and stuff like that. So you have your flannel here in the red and blue. It's got the rips on there, and it's pretty cool. It fits the figure well, and it looks nice on there. I like it. I always am for cloth accessories, and I'm definitely, before this video is over, going to see what this looks like on Brock Lesnar. And then you also get this little office accessory, which is pretty much just like a little cactus plant. And this is pretty cool. You know, you could add to your backstage dioramas, your general manager's offices, things of that nature. This is perfect for stuff like that. It's got a nice mold to it. It's not spiky or anything. It's just a little potted cactus. You also get another thing for your GM's office and backstage. You have the commissioner little name tag thing for somebody's desk, and it's blank on the other side. So you could probably get your own custom-made sticker, put that on there as a decal, and then you could have your own custom one. So that'd be cool. But it's in a black color, and it just says commissioner. Pretty cool. Again, I like little outside-the-box accessories like this. I think this makes uh, another form of collecting very fun. Then you also have mic holding hands, which are universally beautiful. You get the have a good day thumbs up style accessories or the boom hand accessories for Adam Cole, you know, so these are pretty cool as well. And then we have this new hand sculpt, which has a gavel actually sculpted in there. So the gavel is not loose. I mean, I guess you could maybe like, I, I don't know, I wouldn't get into that, but you do have a gavel here. It's got a nice sculpt to it. It is brown. Mine's a little warped. Heat that if yours is warped out of the packaging, just hit it with a hairdryer for about 25 seconds, maybe 30 seconds. Make it real soft and weird. And then you can run it under, hold it in the place you want and then run it under cold water and it will hold shape. That's what I found to work. That works on everything Mattel pretty much if something's warped. But yeah, this is a pretty cool head. This is a cool hand sculpt. I just don't know where the hell they're going to reuse it. They may not ever get any reuse out of this. Who knows? All right, man, so getting into Mick Foley or Commissioner Foley, I really like this head sculpt. I think it's probably, I mean, give or take, it's definitely arguable that this is one of the better head sculpts we've seen out of Mick Foley. At least this era or this version of Mick Foley, I think it looks damn good to be honest with you. I like the sculpt. I like everything going on. I mean, dude, look at this detail 
right here on his ear and everything, man. Like, look at that right there. Isn't that crazy? They did a fantastic job of capturing him. This is this is crazy good. I love the flannel on here. Now, say what you will. I don't like the t-shirt torso. I don't like the way this looks. It's the painted, uh, like, G like Hacksaw Jim Duggan style torso or Iron Sheik. And I just don't like this. It just looks odd. I think a cloth... Give us the, the arms, the shoulders, and the torso should have been skin tone. And then you should have gave us a cloth commissioner shirt and then a cloth flannel to go over the top. That's the way it should have been. But I don't know the budget. I don't know all those things. I'm just saying, in a perfect world, that's how it would have been. And so that's what we get. You get the same sweatpants mold we've seen so long now. They need to retire this mold. It makes people way too damn short. Give us new jogger slash sweatpants molds for these guys. Look at this right here. John Cena shoes. Get rid of this mold too. All this shit should be retired, man. I'm sick of it. I'm over it. All this needs to be retired. It's it's ancient history. These feet are terrible. They fall forward. They want to fall over. They want to do all those things. But I think on the shelf, this is going to work fine for Mick Foley. And I think overall, I think it does get the job done and everything. Like articulation's fine. Everything you need this guy to do, he's going to be able to do. But I just think we this figure could be better. But at the end of the day, I think it's a good representation. I just don't like the painted t-shirt torso. And the flannel looks a bit weird on there. But I think it gets all the jobs done. Now for your Mick Foley figure comparisons. You do have the WrestleMania Elite with a head swap on the Cactus Jack Elite 48 figure, I do believe, over here, which I really like. This is like one of my favorite little fix-ups here. You have the Mankind from the Rock and Sock Connection 2-pack. You have the Elite 102. You have the Ringside Exclusive. And then you have the Cactus Jack figure with the WrestleMania 36 Elite from WrestleMania 22 with the head swap, because I, I, I just love the way this looks compared to this. This head sculpt was dreadful, but I am missing some Elite Mankinds, man. I'm missing the SummerSlam Mankind. I'm missing like the Elite 13 Mankind, or the Elite 15 Mankind, whatever it was. I'm missing the Elite 51. I sold that one off with that Legend set. I'm missing the Mail Away Mankind, so I'm missing a handful of Mankind slash Mick Foley figures, so I definitely need to track those down. The Dude Love used to have Dude Love, sold him off as well, so yeah, I'm just doing real good. Doing real, real good right now. Lots of holes in the collection needed to be filled, but this is a nice addition. We haven't had an era of this Mick Foley specifically, so that is pretty cool. But before we get out of here with this guy, I do want to look at what he looks like with the flannel on on Brock Lesnar. So we are going to do that. So here is a Brock Lesnar figure. This is from the three-pack with Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman, which is a beautiful set. I love that set. I think this is better tooled and it's got thicker and better, but this is still going to be a cool fix-up maybe to put this on here. Just see what this looks like here. Here, and then this is gonna probably be a reason for me to get another one of the Elite 102 Mick Foley. So, you know, pulling this on. Look at that right there, dude. That gets the job done for me. I like that. No issues with that whatsoever. Look at that right there. You got former Brock right there. Killing it. Looking all good. Yeah, that looks about as good as I thought it would. I don't know if it looks as good as this, because this is tighter fit to the body, but this still completely works. You could easily get away with that. But I think that pretty much wraps up our WWE Elite Series 102 Mick Foley and Sami Zayn review, man. I like both these figures. I don't know where they're going to land in the countdown. I do like the updated Sami Zayn. I like that we have, like, this new expression. I just think it misses the mark a little bit. Like, I, I don't know. Like, these wacky head sculpts are kind of ridiculous in this set. You got Elite 102 Austin Theory running wild. You got Elite 102 Sami Zayn running wild. I don't like the painted on shirt for Mick Foley. I think giving him a cloth shirt over that torso with another cloth flannel would have been cool. I know they can't fit in cloth every single effing time, but I still like to think about it and say it. But at the end of the day, I like both these figures. I like the flannel for Commissioner. I like the flannel for Commissioner Foley because I'm going to put that thing on my Brock Lesnar, man. That looks that looks pretty sweet to me. I like the accessories. It's, uh, you know, it's a solid release. I think a lot of people would, would check this figure out. If you guys are interested in picking these up, you can do so over at Ringside Collective Use promo code MD Toys to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there, of course. But that is pretty much going to wrap this thing up, man. Th Huge shout out to our patrons of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel or you guys are interested in any of the perks, click the link in the description below so you guys can check that out. Nonetheless, that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'm getting out of here. Have a blessed one. I'll see you next time. We'll never back down. We will not relent.